Attention, attention, immigration TV friends. Great breaking news in asylum. The MPP program known as Remain in Mexico is ending. The MPP forces people seeking asylum at the border to wait for their courts in Mexico instead of, of in the U.S. A federal judge that had been forcing the government to maintain the MPP has just allowed uh, to end it once and for all. This is great news, obviously, for thousands of people seeking asylum at the U.S.-Mexico border. And in this video, I will tell you all the details. I am Julio Janarte, immigration lawyer. This is Immigration TV, the largest immigration community in the world. And we are going right now to the information. The MPP, known also as uh, Remain in Mexico, uh, was and is, a ter is terrible for thousands of immigrants seeking asylum uh, at the border with Mexico. It started in 2019 during the administration of former President Donald Trump. And when President Biden uh, won, he promised to end it. And he did so the first day he took office. Uh, but what happened, what happened next? Well, lawsuits came to keep it up and a federal judge in Texas ruled to keep it. The Biden administration then appealed this ruling. It was a long court battle that went uh, all the way up to the Supreme Court, uh, which ended up giving the Biden administration uh, the reason for its decision. So um, don't forget to subscribe by pressing the little bell so you don't miss any news or video and you can be part of the largest immigration community in the world. Well, this court, ru court ruling uh, had occurred last June, the Supreme Court ruling, and it took more than a month for the government to finally be able to ask the first judge to overturn it. The Texas federal judge just gave the government the green light to end the program. So the question now is, what's next? Well, the implementation will not be easy uh, nor immediate. Uh, we will have to wait for the details because the government has not informed them yet. I will keep you obviously posted, as I always do. Uh, if you're finding value in this information, help us please to spread uh, the word by giving up, giving us uh, a like to the video. Uh, this will help, help to spread the word and other people can see it too. And well, to, to apply uh, for asylum in the United States, you will need to prove at least one out of five grounds of persecution uh, if you, in order to win your case. So it's very important for you to know this in detail. And I prepare a video here where I explain this step by step. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you for joining me.